Repeat after me. Today, when I watch this show, I will learn, develop, and gain inspiration for the rest of my peers and most importantly, myself. Today, I will gain inspiration to leave every bit of it behind me for those who need it more than ever. Please enjoy the show and gain inspiration. Thank you. That's right, people. We are on the 57th episode of Real Talk today. Nice to see you all. Now, as you can see by the topic below, it says therapy, therapy is bullshit. Now, let me ask you all a question here. Now, if one of, all of you are wondering, whoever sees a psychiatrist, whoever doesn't see a psychiatrist, now why do you think I would say to you all that it's bullshit? Well, you see, it's pretty simple. You see, with therapy, it's like they're meant to help you with your problems. They're meant to help you with something you're going through that you can't talk to anybody else about except, except somebody you really trust. Now, it may be confidentiality, yes. It may be comfortable seats you're sitting in while you're talking to the doctor, yes. But can I ask you one question? Is it really free? And, oh, no. It's not free. What it actually is, it is therapy is like a way of them pretending that they are your friends. Pretending that they are close to you. Because you see, you need to understand something. Why do you think a person gets paid a paycheck weekly who is supposed to help these people with their problems, but how can you expect to trust them when there is no point of them caring about any of us when you are going through a problem? that it tends to escalate sometimes. But do you really think they care by the end of the day? No. You see, the sociological behavior of therapy is they walk into work, have their caring face and their caring smile, and then when they walk out, they have this big smile that they got their paycheck smile. That is their smile that they get at the end of the day. They don't go home to their families and say, oh, I went and I helped this person today, and blah, blah, blah. No. They go into that career because good money, okay, very good money, okay, you don't have to work all day, okay, that's something that people love. And do you really think they're going to care about your problem you express it to them? No. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. They're not going to give a fuck. That's what I'm trying to say. But, my point of the matter is this. It, the same goes with anybody who gets paid that are supposed to help you, like police officers. Do you really think they care by the end of the day? No, they still get their paycheck too. So, long story short, without going through this whole list, so to speak, why should we learn to trust people unless they're getting paid to do that job to help the deed out? I mean, that's why I keep telling all of you on this show that if all of you want to get help for free, if all of you want the answer to your problems that keep on coming back for the same problem, that's why I say to watch Real Talk. Because for fuck's sakes, we need someone to talk for free, and that's what I'm here for. So, I would suggest you come to me for your topic still more than anything else than ever. So, about therapy. I've had a lot of people talk to me about therapy these days. A lot of people have mentioned to me how their therapist or psychiatrist has been rude to them, doesn't listen to them, all they do is just sit there and write things down. You know, and prescribes them with a medication that doesn't even work. I mean, I actually began to see that actually because people I know don't like psychiatrists. People I know don't get Medicaid properly. People I know don't even like their psychiatrists because all they do is sit there and write things down while you're talking to them. Like, for me, I have experience with one therapist. The one therapist I went to, all that person did was write things down, and just say a little advice here and there. That's about it. 
um, she never um, helped me out with anything that I was going through. She just wrote things down. That's all she did. And then after she said, is that all? Is that, that's all they say, is that all? And after they will ask you a few questions. How does that make you feel? Blah, 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 okay? So, the five W's. Let's go through the first part of what. What is a psychiatrist for? A psychiatrist is supposed to be there to help you with your problems, no matter if they're getting paid or not getting paid, okay? Where? Where are psychiatrists located? They're located in doctor's offices or their own offices, like doctors, sort of thing. Downtown most of the time, okay? Now, when do usually people see a psychiatrist? Well, usually when they have a problem. That's when they go and see a psychiatrist. Okay, so first, so far we went through three columns. What, when, and where. Okay. Now, we went through those three columns, what, when, where, and now we go through why should we see a psychiatrist. Well, you should be able to see a psychiatrist because they're supposed to actually be there to help you. They're not supposed to be there just to write things down on a piece of paper because honestly, this is all they do. That's all they fucking do. You know, what, 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 how useless does that look? That's useless, isn't it? I agree, it's fucking useless. So that's all I'm trying to tell you, all of you, is that that's why it's not a good idea to see psychiatrists, okay? That's why it's a good idea if you just watch real talk. Because I don't just do the writing down thing. I actually tell you about your problem through the five W's and other solutions I have through my head, okay? So now, how can we solve this problem? Well, first off, if you're watching this episode and you know that this episode is giving you an idea of what I'm trying to say of what you've gone through, well, then you're in the right place. Because if the psychiatrist are giving you these feelings, and if they're not helping you, then I suggest, well, you should not see them. That's the only thing I suggest. Okay? And watch Real Talk Weekly since Austin is here to help and solve your problem. So, before I go, you know what all of you know I'm going to say for the fifth time? If none of you like this show, if none of you like the way I present this show, they get the fuck off this show. Okay? The people who love how I present this show, please watch, comment, like, and baby subscribe and gain inspiration okay that's real talk thank you take care people and let's do the bye bye dance yow